Welcome to my channel, I am the Homeos. And in this video, we're gonna pick up where we left off. But in this video, we're gonna go ahead and create the animation and export it into Unreal Engine. So if you follow along from last video, go ahead and watch that. And then we can get into this one. So what I'm gonna do is, instead of going in and just resetting the pose, which is, you know, I can't actually, if I go into post mode, I can't move anything, I get an error. So that's not the way to do it. The best way, since we have our rig here, as we locked it out, it's still here and it's still available. So the best thing to do is, let's leave, let's leave that alone. And um, let's, just, let's just go back to object mode and I'm gonna hit A to select everything. So with my control rig highlighted first, I'm going to go ahead to parenting and I'm going to clear and keep transformation. Okay, so now everything is on its own now. There's no parents. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this. I'm just going to get rid of the rig. So by doing that, when I hit the reset, I deleted the rig. So now we just have, we don't have to go ahead and create a rig anymore because that's right there. So I deleted the control rig, I reset the pose. So we're back to pose position. So what you want to do is you want to select all of this. So the best way is to hit A. But you want to have your meta rig, you know, top, top dog and go ahead and hit parent as before and with automatic weights actually delay and let's not do that let's just go to the amateur and let's just go ahead and create rig so there's our rig so then we go ahead and uh, just close out the meta rig let's just get it out of the way it's not there and then let's go ahead and select everything and let's have our actually i'm going to label this control Okay, so let's go ahead and select everything and controls top dog, we go ahead and go into our parent with automatic weights. Okay, there we go. That is the best way to reset your pose. Okay, so we're going to just select the amateur. Let's go back into pose mode here. And what I want to do is I want to save everything. So I'm hitting the record button here. And from there, I'm going to hit the mirror button up here. So I'm going to mirror what I'm doing. And what I want to do is come over here. I want to select my FK limb follow and IK to FK. So now that makes where I can move this. And now what you do to the left is like a mouth, you gotta do to the right. Make sure you select the right. So you wanna make sure the FK limb follows and the IK, there we go. So we're just gonna pull this down now and you see both of them go down with us. Okay, so now I want these to follow. There it is. And then over here, do the same thing. If you want to do IK to FK, that brings them there. So let's do, let's go to the, let's curve this in a little bit. And the same thing, you want to do IK to FK. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to take off the mirror position. X. First, I want to come down here. Let's, let's reset, reset the legs here. We're going to make the legs to FK. So, you want to hit no, FK, let me follow. There, okay, there it is. And to the left, you got to do to the right. Okay, that should be it. Okay. Now I want to select, let's get a better view here. Okay, and I want to select this guy here. So I'm going to hold in the shift and 
select both of them. And I'm just gonna pull them back. Oh, that wasn't a good idea. Maybe selecting both of them at the same time isn't a very good idea. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull his leg back a little bit. And I'm going to take his arm and I'm gonna go forward with it. the opposite to this side back and I want to take his leg and pull it forward now there might be some uh, irregularities with this belt so I'm just not going to select these pants anymore with the belt it's ridiculous but if you just ignore it for now I will get a better model for my next video. All right, so now we're down to the feet position. So we all remember we have this on record while we're doing it. So as you can see in the first position, it's already got the yellow dot that's recording for us. So now I want to give it a little bend and his foot's gonna come down. And as his, I want, I'm going to bring this up a little bit and I want to select and bring this arch of his foot back. Actually, let me go yeah, so I can see things. Yeah. So now it looks like he's coming down and we want to take this foot and bring it up a little bit. And these move right here with the move tool, almost like an IK. So we just position it a little, you know, make it look a little better. I'm going to select here and position my view here to the center almost. Move it, is join a little bit. And as everyone we're selecting is being recorded, so you don't have to worry too much. Um, let's bring his leg down a little bit. Okay. Now we go up to his arms. Let's just straighten this up a little bit. Let's get a better view. Let me focus on here a little bit. Gonna pull his elbow. So I want to straighten this out. I'm gonna hit the. Uh, I'm gonna just move it up a little bit. And then get on to the other side here. I'm gonna do the same thing. Pull this back. I'm gonna hit E. Okay, so now he looks like he's in a walking pose. But I also want to, when he's walking, I want to make him move a look a little realistic. So he's gonna come up a little bit. And I want to do the same thing with his shoulders. Hold up. Just move little, give them a little movements. So now I want to select these middle rings a little bit. I don't want to do a rotation, just a little bit. And I'm going to have this one. And I want to do the opposite for down here. Keep him level. And let's go move to his head a little bit. There we go. Okay, so that's a nice little walking pose right now for a little demo. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select everything and I'm going to go to 25 frames 
No, I'm, I'm using 25. You can use whatever you want. And I'm gonna go to the 25th frame. So hit A, hit select everything. Then you control copy everything. Basically, let's do everything over again. Control V. And then let's go into line 13. And then we do the flip. Ah, see, that was it. So make sure you select all bones before you do this. And now, as you can see, we got a walking animation. Yay, we did it. So I like this way. You can do the same thing with Mixamo. But I do like the control rig with Rigify and doing it this way inside Blender and just exporting it into Unreal. So that's what we're going to do next. So let's stop this guy here. You can also, uh, you know, extend these if you want. Let's say you want to go on to, uh, let's say, 50 frames. Just make them, let's give it a little slower walk here. So take this one. This goes to number 50 and. 13 and plus 13 is 26. Let's find 26 here. Yeah, there we are. So now if we hit play, it's a little slower. Now it's little animations. You could add more detail and more character to a silhouette. But this does pretty good. I do enjoy the Mixamo one, but there is some problems with animations that I was having. But I think I did correct that, so I'm going to make another video about that later. But I'm just going to go ahead and stop this, and we're going to go ahead and export into Unreal. So let's go ahead and do that. So first I want to do is I want to go out of pose mode into my object mode here and I'm gonna select everything under the control rig. So I want to make sure I have everything here. So everything's selected. So then I go into my file just like if you do it regular FBX. But here is the trick. Make sure we're gonna change this name to Bob. I like it. It's easier to recognize. So this is Bob Demo. Okay, so oops. we already know it's an FBX. We don't need that in the title. Okay, so Bob, <clears throat> we're gonna have everything to copy. Make sure that's selected. Uh, we're gonna go under selected objects. Now under. Geometry here under norms. We're gonna select face. Okay. That looks good. All this looks good here. Now we did the geometry. Now under the amateur. Okay, so the primary bones. bones. Uncheck add leaf bones. Okay, so we go actually under transform. We want to do all, we want to do forward, negative forward X, and we want to do Z up. Okay, remove the leaf bone. Okay, so under bake animation, we keep all this. Okay, so let's go ahead and export this into, so it's, you find the file that you want, like I have mine under, under my Unreal Engine, so my Blender, my FBX, and there's my Bob file folder. I already made him, so I'm just gonna drop him in there. All right, so let's go ahead that so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna export the animation so if you want to make sure that we have okay so the end is at 50 okay so we want to do file X 
explore FBX and let's go under here. Actually, we're gonna leave that alone. Inside our folder, I'm gonna add. Oh, I already have Bob's animation, so let's just get rid of this one here. So I'm going to Bob's animation. So selected object as we did before. I copy materials, um, Z off everything. So, but the different what we're gonna do is we're gonna go under animation, and we're gonna uncheck NAL in all action. So everything else can be the same, and then export. Let's go ahead and drop this. Let's go ahead and open the Unreal Engine. And first, we got the FBX, and we're not going to add anything. We're just going to leave it the way it is. It's going to add its own skeleton. Um, it's going to add its own materials. So just hit import. Right, so now here's the animation. For the animation, we're gonna find the Bob demo. And we're gonna hit the Bob demo, leave everything the same, except we are not gonna import the skeletal mesh. We're gonna just get rid of that. All we're gonna import is the animation. So then, yeah, so import all. We know what folder it's going to. We wait for it to do its thing. See it's processing, source file changing, all that great stuff. So now if I go under here, I have my materials. What I like to do is I like to select all my materials and get rid of them and to at least clean them up. I put them into this, I got this folder here called Matt, short for materials. Oops, I don't want to, no, I don't want to do that. Select this one and all this, and then I'm gonna drag it into the materials, and we'll say move here. So now that we've got everything cleaned up, here's our materials, and here is our animation. <laughs> it's a little funky. We could add. It can do, do a lot better so yeah but that's what that's it for this video we're just importing the animations and as you can see like spend some more time on the animations but I, I believe it's easier making animations in blender and then importing them into unreal than creating the control rig in unreal and then have to do the animations that way unless you know a better way but this is i believe the best workflow that i can find as far as bringing animation personalizing your animations um yeah using blender i, I believe you can use it kind of the same way for maya if you're using maya but i i really prefer blender it's so much easier uh, to work with but yeah um that's it for now uh, thank you for watching. Until next time, keep creating.